Okay, remember that they're changing my voice. Now keep in mind the scribes, a lot of times they had sex with little children. They liked to play tricks. They were sick, sick people, sick people. They worked for governing class people who were also sick. And we hear that the Greeks, you know, translated the Bible, the New Testament at least. And we know that they're also there in the Old Testament, right? Where it says that the offspring of Greece were going to be at odds with the offspring of Zion. And they're referring to the spirit of the Greek patriarchs, their cult systems, what have you. And obviously, you know, if you're from a patriarchal line that's evil, you should not be evil. Okay. So, in Genesis it says there's four headwaters, right? Head, waters, right? What ear? Okay. Now keep in mind again, this is disturbing and it's basically a bunch of LGBT Satanist scribes who are explaining things. The Bible itself is written by scribes and, you know, a lot is lost in translation and the fact that it's superimposed on the Royal African Falcon Martial Art Order. It's, it's there enough for you to be satisfied that that's the fact. But then it gets confusing sometimes, right? It's like a piece of, pieces of a, a confusing jigsaw puzzle that's made annoying and disturbing on purpose. It's like people who put rape scenes in movies, right? It's made to fuck with your head. So we get the first, right? The first of the four headwaters. Pishon winds through Havila, okay? And there's said to be gold and aromatic resin and onyx. And these things stand for different things in the Bible. Gold stands for wisdom. So Pishon, okay, is, you know, Pishon, believe it or not, okay? It's Pashon and it's Saphon, okay? And there's all kinds of stuff, right? No sheep he, no shape, what have you. And what are they referring to? First and foremost, it's superimposed on the truth of God through the Royal African Falcon Martial Art Order. Okay, so they're saying that they don't want God's shape among man. Okay, a lot of this stuff, especially in the Old Testament when it comes to the scribes, is pure evil. Have, have I law, right? Havila, have I law, right? And law is a moon deity, right? And Revelation says the woman who's clove with the sun has the moon under her feet, right? It's trampled like the earth, okay? Because the moon temples are evil, okay? Witches and, and what have you. And the moon said to be the prince of darkness, okay? And it gets confusing because in Genesis, it says it's a lesser light to rule over the night. And there's a lot you can get from that. You can get from that that, you know, the tree of knowledge, when used by God, right? It, it, that he understands um, how evil should be used, but everyone else, they don't understand. No, no one's supposed to be evil. No one's supposed to use evil. Okay. That's something God created to ensnare wicked people. So we see Havila, right? Have I law? Have il ha? And again, you can get hell. Av hell ha. Right? It's the avenue. It's the way of hell. Okay. The moon, right? The prince of darkness. What have you? Lunacy. Lunatic. Lunar cycle. You also get, aha, elves. Now, this one's interesting, right? Because they try to make it so my face was shaped um, like an elf, right? When I have my glasses, I look a certain way. It's caused me to squint a certain way over the years. The way they've used fumes and poisons, right? They want people to look up to people like Bill Gates to some degree. They want people to look up to people like, oh, you know, Harry and William, okay? And if you look at them carefully and you compare them to elves, you compare them to Pan you start to see something there, right? The elves in the Lord of the Rings are actually based on people that they want you to think are superior and more magical. And, you know, it's all this Harry Potter kind of thinking, right? It's nonsense. Okay. So with Pishon, again, you have an apis who's said to be a bull and the image, the false image of Christ said to be Serapis, right? Which a play, is a play on words for um, see rapes and rapes is. So what what is this about, right? It's about... You have to see Isaiah, um, I want to say 34, where it says the waters turn into burning streams of sulfur. It's about, you know, the water coming from the Garden of Eden, where there's the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So some of the water, depending on how it's, the water 
represents people and their, their headwater, their, their core, their, their king. And if they do the wrong thing after creation, right, their water is said to be turned into um, a burning lake of excrement, a stream of burning sulfur, burning fire, what have you, lava, what have you. Okay, so their their insights, their spirit, who they are, they're rotten. They they're, they drink the cup of God's wrath. They become the Walking Dead. What have you? So let's get to you know. There's other stuff you can connect to there. I mean, do the word play on your own again. Pishon wines. The word wines like the word wind, right? The word gold, geold, right? The, the ancient serpent, the devil. These old people trying to use their knowledge to cheat people. So you don't know what you're talking about when it's it's the spirit of God in the top martial arts that delivers the message of God. Not old people with the Bible and with their endless word play and genealogies and endless you know kind of snapple facts about the Bible. Okay, so point number two is the second headwater, which is um, Gihon. And he winds through Cush. So here comes Cush. And what is what are the Cushites going to do? Right? Are they going to do what Nimrod did and be a mighty warrior for the Lord? What are they going to do? And we see in Isaiah that there's a prophecy against Cush and every other race and people. All the nations fail as, as people and the righteous are gathered up in the clouds and they leave. Right? So with the wordplay there and it tells us about other parts of the Bible like who's the king at the end and, and, and why it's superimposed in the Royal African Falcon Martial Art Order. Okay, it says Gihon, which is a play on words for Gihon. The Gi is a name for a martial arts shirt. Now keep in mind that, um, you know, Kung Fu shirt. Keep in mind that um, that Hebrew is an Afro-Asiatic language. Okay, and, and the shirt is similar to the priest's um, outfit in Catholicism. And it's similar to the chef, right? Diet and deity, right? The fruits, the tree of knowledge, right? What you're consuming. And of course you have the meal, mele. Grub, G rub, food, fo do, and all the kind of sick wordplay with people who leverage food over the years to kind of force people um, to do things a certain way. And you prepare food and prepare as a plan works for pre rape and pro rape and, and so on and so forth. And reap rape and you reap what you sow and so on and so forth. Any questions, put in the comments. So you have gi hone, right? The gi being honed. Right, you have the hog in. Right, they want you know that's part of why they're fuming and poisoning me to make it so my muscles are less defined, so I seem like a, a thicker person, like people in the military, WWF wrestlers, typical police officers, typical certain construction workers, bikers, certain forms. Right, no offense to anybody. These are the facts. The cush it says C U sh, and it's also a uh, a suck, okay, and there's all kinds of sick, sexual, immoral um, implications here. But also the idea of, you suck at this, right? So they're wearing a martial art gi, right? Me and my pictures, they edited my pictures to make it so I didn't look so impressive. And they said, you suck. And they edited my martial art demonstration. See, that's that magic card saboteur nonsense. And for those of you who doubt that, do the rest of the wordplay, right? You get the word cause, right? Where vowel, right? Vowel to L, vowels. Okay, interchangeable. Change able, right? A, bell, and so on and so forth. All that stuff there. Alphabet, alphabet, you're betting on Bell or the Falcon Son of God, right? So we see, you know, with, with your life dedication, right? How you live your life, right? Worship and war shape, right? And worship, we are ship. So we get the cause and you get the hawks and you get the shack, right? To shack up some, with somebody. Hawks, okay? Um, you get the hacks and they're hacking my phone and, and there's different strokes. Uh, you know, you hack someone with, a, uh, with, a, with an axe and so on and so forth. And there's little axes and there's big war axes, what have you. You get the guy hone, and here you get a very disturbing uh, wordplay where you get the the gay hone. So the G Jew guy gay hone, like in Dragon, right? It's G Jew gay nerd, okay? The ancient serpent, the devil, and he's he's a gay nerd, and he wants the top martial artists to look less impressive, so he looks good, right? So people can be idolaters, okay? Satan likes to play God, and you know that's why you get the wordplay for cash, because they're saying, hey, we'll pay you money. After we sabotaged you and your family, okay, and they're saying that they'll pay me to do something I'd never do, which is sell my soul to the devil and do what they say and so on and so forth. And the word soul is a play on words for SOL, which means son in Spanish and probably in Latin too. I'll have to double check that. And of course, you have the word soul, SOL, backwards is lost. They want you to lose your soul, right? Lose O. Loose O. O is the reproductive cycle. It can refer to vagina and other things, okay? And lose O. Okay, again, I'm not a big fan of the word play sale. It's annoying as hell, and they're, they're immature with it, and so on and so forth. But it tells you definitively that these words that they're being used 
okay, have wordplay there. Words have meanings, right? The Lord is his name. There's cryptograms, there's anagrams in the Bible. It's a coded book, okay, that's been coded again and again because before they translated it, they had different symbols and codes that were saying the same thing, right, in a different way. And the Greeks did it their way, and as they became the tribes and the cults in charge, you know, the groups in charge one way or another, and the and the patriarchal lines in charge of the world, right, Satan's the god of this world, as they say, they changed it, perhaps, I don't, I don't speak Hebrew fluently, but I know a few words there. They changed it, they changed it, to try to make themselves seem ideal and try to get people to do things a certain way and so on and so forth. So you get the Tigris and the Euphrates, right? Tigris, IT, right? IT technology, right? The eye of the T, the feminine suffix, right? And the grays, right? And you get the rage and, and the set rage and the sit rage and seat rage and, and it goes back to erotic desire and fury, right? The, there's, there's groups called, there's a group of people in Greek mythology called the Furies, okay? And there's the Graces and they have their fake conception of of, of righteous anger they have their counterfeit uh, conception of you know god's grace and so on and so forth and their fake forms of love like agape and and storgma and pragma and so on and so forth so here here we have you know storage and, and pragma and so on and so forth. the euphrates is number four right again they make it so that and my, i apologize if it sounds a little bit annoying they're fuming me and i just want to get this over with it's disgusting and they make it so that Maybe one in ten videos is is said well or something. Maybe maybe it's better than that. Maybe it's more like three out of five. I don't know. Okay, but I can tell right now they're making it harder for me to talk, and I just want to get this done with. If you people would help me and rally to me and do some of the talking for me, it wouldn't come to this. So it's also part of the story. And what's happening right now is more important than all the religious books ever made. Okay. This is the most important time in history where everyone else is cultivating cowardice and rebellious. Okay, a year now is like a thousand years, right? So if every every year you cultivate rebellion, it's like you've cultivated for a thousand years in your soul because it's crunch time, because Christ is back. Okay, and this, this shows you who you really are. Your groups, you as individuals, your churches, your mosques, your synagogues, what have you. So the Euphrates, right? There's angels t under, under chains in the Euphrates in, Re in the Revelation. The kings of the east, right? The beasts in the east. Okay, the best A, who's your best A, beast? Betas is beast, scramble. And you get the EU, pray set. Okay, and you get some other wordplay there as well. I'll just end it there. The point is that we can look at this wordplay, and we can also connect it to the names of the rivers and the estuaries and streams and whatever's on the map in Egypt. And I've done that before, and it's been a while. And you see that it connects, and it all is pointing an arrow to the fruits of the righteous which is pointing the arrow to the historical Royal African Falcon Martial Order, and it's that simple.